An entirely unique mix of populous Pokemon and parenting, The Sims offers players the chance to create a suburban family with one goal, make them happy. Like regular people, your Sims find happiness by having a good job, falling in love, creating a cozy home, spending quality time with friends and family, and owning a lot of really cool stuff. As their invisible lord and master, it's up to you to help provide all those things, as well as steer them around their daily lives. Your Sims are somewhat autonomous, but ultimately they're lost without you. It's the player who decides a Sims' career, love affairs, attitude, hygiene, well-being, job skills, and much more. Big screen TV or hardwood hot tub? Learn to cook nutritious food or order pizza every night? Take a wife or be a playa? The choices are all yours. As the game progresses, your Sims will succeed or fail in life, all based on what you tell them to do. It's the ultimate power trip. First and foremost, the PS2 game won't be a port of the PC edition. The game structure will be the same, but almost everything else is being retooled and recreated with the PlayStation 2 player in mind, including a change from 2D sprites to a fully polygonal 3D world. The PC's open-ended play mode will still be available on the PlayStation 2, but gamers will have the option for more structure with single-player goal challenges, which will unlock more world objects and other goodies. Two players will be able to share the screen at once to direct different household members and make them interact at will. The controls will be fairly intuitive. There will also be special two-player games such as Strip Poker, and the rewards are increases in a Sim's popularity or embarrassment. Other refinements will include a much deeper create a Sim mode offering thousands of character combinations, and the ability to save both Sims and houses to a memory card for easy transport to a friend's console. At long last, you'll get the chance to get a life when the Sim ships this holiday.